the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, mercifully receive the prayers of your people. Help us to see and understand the things we ought to do, and give us grace and power to do them through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For the sixth Sunday after Epiphany, hear this reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. St. Luke wrote, And he, Jesus, came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the seacoast of Tyre and Sidon, who came to hear him and be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all the crowd sought to touch him, for power came forth from him and healed them all. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed are you, poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you that hunger now, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you that weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you and revile you, and cast out your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For so their fathers did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich! For you have received your consolation. Woe to you that are full now, for you shall hunger. Woe to you that laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Woe to you when all men speak well of you, for so their fathers did to the false prophets. The Holy Gospel of our Lord. Thanks be to God. By the power of the Holy Spirit, grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. In recent days, I saw a news article wherein a noted, very liberal-minded Lutheran pastor gave a gift of golden eroticism to a prominent woman's rights activist, one which has led pro-choice advocacy. The pastor is shown smiling happily in apostate presence during the dubious ceremony in the news article. Thus it is that today's gospel especially reaches out to us. For you see, the gospel lesson for today treats our traditional lectionary reading a little bit different than on other Sundays. Here in this reading, Instead of the divinely given law being presented first and then followed by the good news, the gospel, Blessed Luke records that Jesus turned that progression on its head when he addressed his followers out on the plains. It is of this reversal that I dare say my more liberal ministry colleagues need to take note. You see, during that gathering so long ago, ago Jesus addressed his followers some of whom were called apostles you know those real disciples and some who were otherwise he spoke he spoke first of the true disciples and words of reassurance concerning things that would occur in spite of worldly conditions around them Jesus told them that they were indeed blessed in spite of worldly poverty happiness or position. These are true instructional words that are echoed also in the gospel according to St. Matthew. But Luke reveals that in this 
particular instance, Jesus did not stop with what we call the Beatitudes, the beautiful promises. Our Lord warned those who were present there for other reasons. We need to take these warnings seriously. For even today we see people who stand outside the calling to be faithful in their following. For sure there were some there who followed wishing to attach to themselves where fame and fortune might reach out and touch them. First, there were also some who attended because they wanted to possess a happy and ecstatic character like a modern church evangelist who never wants to be seen as having a lowly day. Others were present in the gathering who were there so they might be seen as popular overthrow to the status quo and usurp worldly power and authority that was over them so that they could eventually reign in their places. In the final words of this lesson, our Lord comes warning us, each of us who at one time or another fall away from the true callings of the Christian community, to follow the causes of false pro prophets and faulty causes. You see, following Jesus and clinging only to his words of instruction is the true path to true wealth, happiness, and a blessed seat at the Lord's table. Now, knowing these things, I say to you, now may the peace of God, which surpasses all human understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. 
Lord God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us, through Jesus Christ our Lord.